So welcome to another technical analysis of a world-class shot putter. Tom Walsh, one of the best ever in the history of the sport. And one of the ones, one of the throwers that we get requested Browser to have lead even made, 22, mainly because of his, you know, unorthodox start and because he's an absolute animal. So uh, let's play this again. And let's just go back over this nice slow-mo. Um, so I, re I think I watched a video with Dale Stevenson, his coach, and I, and I was fortunate enough in Doha to see them, you know, warming up and doing their, uh, like potentiation work and stuff like that, or whatever you might want to, reflexive work, whatever you may want to call it. And I was really, dude, I'm really impressed by Walsh's, uh, focus on really, small details and his coaches and then even with the games they play warming up i love so um out of the back you know, he's very aggressive with that left arm getting it way past the left knee he does a really nice job if anybody wants to to know what is dorsiflexion this is dorsiflexion with that heat with that foot right there um and if you see here that left knee is really just lined up to dead center down to the center of the of the circle right here. And I've read that Walsh almost, or I've seen him or his coach talk about that chest up more out of the back, but I don't, he seems a bit more flat here with his chest. Then when the right comes down and, and, and his right comes down, he sort of does that little tuck with his head. And he's got a really, really wide left holds that left arm, and then when that left arm grounds, or left leg grounds, it's sort of hard to see in this because the, the frames per second aren't fast enough because he's such an animal. His left arm's typically right about here or maybe here when that left comes down, but because that left knee is so wide, he gets incredible stretch across the, the trunk, and I believe it's more like a stretch shortening cycle. Um, and, and I've seen, I think Dale even talk about uh, you know, non-contractile muscle tissues contributing to potential energy storage that can then be used. I could be screwing that up a little bit, but I believe that's accurate. So one of the things I love about Walsh's leg or technique is just his, his right leg is so aggressive. His left arm is aggressive, but then he holds it. And that's the thing. It's like, think about this left arm, how far ahead it is. And then when he holds, there's like a split second right here. You can see, okay. He has that nice hold where there's, that creates a stretch. And because that left leg's wide, a lot of American coaches coach this left knee to get tight to the right knee. But this left leg's wide, his left arm was holding. That creates, I believe, a stretch shortening cycle across the gut. Left leg grounds. Now all of a sudden he unwinds rapidly. I do think he could potentially hold this right side around a little bit more and sit into that left a little bit longer but this is the what basically the second furthest throw ever from a clean thrower um <laughs> so i'm not going to critique it too much because he just stays on it and i want to point out when he reverses notice how his right comes through he's not jumping off the concrete his right rotates and just slides through and then he gets through on that big nice reverse for a bomb so I think there's some really good principles you got to take out of this technique. Um, and I would watch him over and over again for his intensity, but also his consistency. They're so dialed in with their training. They're so dialed in with their approach. And I think that, that it, you know, they, it takes years to develop to this point. And that's one of the biggest lessons behind studying Tom Walsh and, and his relationship with his coach is how long it takes to focus on these details and to continue to just grind away. And it results in that monster result. Look at that. That's awesome.